Hi, just a quick introduction. I have a full-time job in a manufacturing company. My job is to handle the demand from the customer and deliver the goods on time, doing internal adjustments and so on. I have to say this is a quite stressful job because customers' demand fluctuates quite heavily, but our production line is not always flexible to support. Sudden requests and claims come on a daily basis, and my job is to find a middle ground and solve it. And in painful times when there was a critical supply issue, I had 12 hours business trips to Japan every month working 24-7. I was regularly working on holidays, so this was a difficult time for me and my family. My feet started aching and I was diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis due to heavy stress. So what I would like to do in this video is to show you how to deal with stress. What worked for me but also what I didn't know at that time which would definitely be useful to overcome stress. But just before we dive into it, if you're new here, hi, my name is Joey, and this channel is all about self-development tips to change your mindset and change your life. So if this sounds good to you, please consider subscribing and hit that notification bell. To start off with, what did I do wrong? Well, I was drinking strong alcohol a lot every day. Every night when I came home from work exhausted, I would grab my scotch whiskey and drink to try to release the stress. Until my wife said, enough is enough, and poured all my bottles of whiskey into the sink. And she was completely right. Drinking too much alcohol makes your body fatigue and lowers your energy the next morning. We all know this, right? And when the stressful new day comes, my body wasn't ready to confront the task which piled up more stress. It just made things worse. Now before talking about how to deal with stress, what is stress and where do they come from? They're thoughts in your head, created within you and not something external. They appear in variations. For example, your egos what you want to prove to yourself or your boss on how good you are. When those egos are at stake, stress pops up. It's also the fear of failure, the anticipation of thinking what if I screw up, also the fear of losing control. Whenever something doesn't go as planned, when some interruption or unexpected things happen, we all get stressed. It's also caused by making small things too much of a big deal inside you. When you look at it from the big picture, in most cases it's relatively not that important. Now here are the mindsets you need to overcome stress. First of all, you need to understand that you can't change the past. Don't worry about the future either. We all get wrapped up thinking about what I did wrong or what if I screw up. Believe that every decision you take or took is the best. Let me say that again. Every decision you're taking is the best. Focus on taking the best actions you possibly can in the present moment. You're facing stress because you're challenging something bigger than yourself. If you were living a boring life, you wouldn't have stress. The difficulties you're facing is always a chance for you to grow. Embrace stress. Stress is something that can push you to the next level. The more stress and challenges you overcome, the more experience you will gain. After you've gone through it, you'll notice that many people are suffering on the same thing. You'll realize that you had the power to help and serve someone because you overcame it. Because you had the courage to go through it. Believe in yourself. Someone on earth has gone through the same kind of stress before. If someone can, you can too. You're capable of becoming excellent. Whenever you feel stressed, say to yourself, I'm unbreakable. I can handle it. There's always a solution for any problem you're facing. Be a jukebox of solutions. You can always figure out the best one to play. There is a solution in any situation. Focus on what you can do. Don't worry about the results. It's not the end of the world if you fail. There is no such thing as failure, only a learning process. Stop being a victim, stop blaming others or try to control people. Those will just inflate the stress. Instead, focus on your own game and transform your stress into excitement. In tough times, I was listening to motivational videos every morning on the way to the office. This helped me to rise to the big challenges of that day. I literally reprogrammed my stress into motivation. Stress is not evil. As Kelly McGonigal says, stress isn't always harmful. We should interpret stress differently and look at it from a different perspective. It's all about how you face stress. To be honest, nobody wants stress, but when it comes, think of it as an opportunity for you to become stronger. If you can trick your mind, you can eventually change your body and handle stress in a whole new way. Life is short. Life is too short spending time being passively stressed out or being fearful or depressed. Don't allow yourself thinking of negative stuff in your head. You can't control the world outside, but you can control what you're thinking inside. What you think inside creates your reality outside. It's all about the mindset you have that matters whenever you confront stress. Next, here are the practical tips to reduce stress. Breathe and meditate. Breathing is huge. Why on earth should we underestimate breathing? If we don't breathe, what happens? We die. When we focus on inhaling and exhaling, there's no room to feel stress. 
take a deep breath in and out. In that moment, you're relieved from stress. I didn't meditate when I was going through hard times in my full-time job, but I'm learning meditation now, and I can tell you that this is really a game changer. Meditation makes you aware of what your body is telling you. It's like a sensor. It makes you conscious of the tense in your body. You'll be able to immediately capture stress when you're feeling it. This may sound weird, but I didn't know how bad my stress was until my feet started aching. We can't take any countermeasures if we don't know what's happening in our body. Green exercise is also one of the most effective ways to get distressed. Take a walk in the woods or in the park. Exercise and do sports in the nature if you can. I play golf now, but I wish I did when I was completely stressed out in my work. Listening to music is also said to be a stress reliever. I used to sing out loud driving home from work in the car. Went to karaoke, shouting my head off whenever I went on a business trip to Japan. This made perfect sense to me and actually felt amazing. Getting a foot or body massage is helpful too. Not to mention you need to take care of your body first. And last but not least, get enough sleep. I was horrible at this because I was always working past midnight, sometimes around 2 o'clock and arriving in the office at 8. Even when I was sleeping, I would see dreams of me doing my job, so it was quite crazy. This kind of lifestyle really doesn't make sense no matter how busy you are. Getting enough sleep, ideally 7-8 to eight hours a day, is the most fundamental thing you need to prioritize to have enough energy and work productive. Okay, if you're interested in learning the mindset that changed my life, the next video to watch is in the link below. Question of the day, how do you manage stress? I'm really interested in learning your thoughts and tips, so please comment below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, it really means a lot to me. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.